Well, 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 my dearest friends, this is what I call awesome, awesome, awesome. I just want you to behold this awesome explosion of beauty and awesome explosion of creativity, love, attraction, explosion. It's like you're looking at close up of one of the stars in the galaxy. This is the fruits this morning of dragon fruit. They bloom in one night, one 24 hours, and then they disappear. Uh, this morning I got up it was not just here in this part of the garden, but also the other parts. This beauty absolutely took me out of this world. I was able to completely forget about any cares or concerns. Last night, one of my beautiful baby chickens was taken by a hungry animal, I don't know what. And in the morning, I had to search all over the garden to see what happened because she wasn't in her Coop. As I came to this part of the garden, I saw the remains. So for a while I was sad and the sense of loss until I came over and just saw the beauty and the explosion of creativity and the love of God. I wanted to share with you my recent find in science because one of the things I've been working with and learning and searching and discovering and spending time to learn more is how science and religion are the two sides of the same coin of uh, reality of God's creation. Science gives us the knowledge of the relationship between material reality and religion gives us the um, knowledge of the relationship between the spiritual realities, you know, how we love and what we love and how we express spiritual feelings, our spiritual thoughts, our service, the way we make sense of life, the way we make sense of our relationship with others, all of that, the way we make sense of our relationship with God, all of that is the realm of religion and how we express our love for God to humanity. This is all about religion. How do we manage when we get offended? Do we get offended? Should we get offended? Should we not get offended? How do we resolve conflict? As I just posted a video by late Judge James Nelson. Is it possible to have conflict resolution without violence? All of these are the realm of religion that tells us how we preserve and how we manifest our humanity. I was just fascinated in awe. <laughs> so. Yes, in recent years, the world of science has become aware of the role and significance of the sense of awe and how it has a special relationship with our spiritual feelings, taking us out of this world, providing us with a bigger picture and out of this world perspective. That recent and one of the places that I read is a recently published book by Ethan Cross um, in his book called Chatter. Um, he gives us his findings about sense of awe and uh, how it gives us a chance to take a distance from the mundane and notice the world around us in awe and wonder. And he says, awe is considered a self-transcendent emotion in that it allows people to think and feel beyond their own needs and wants fascinating. I don't know how many people know how to distinguish between their needs and their wants. The operative power of all, he says, is its ability to make us feel smaller, nudging us to see control of our inner voice to a greater grandeur. So this was published um, April 22nd, 2021, recently. Now, the Baha'i writings got another beautiful explanation. This is from Abdul Baha. He says, let God's beloved, each and every one, be the essence of purity, the very life of holiness. It just reminds me of this flowers. I'm looking at it. <laughs> it's a good reference for me. 
so that in every country they may become famed for their sanctity and this, this flower again this dragon fruit flower is a very good representative of beauty and sanctity for me at least and i'm looking at it he says and so that in every country they may become famed for their sanctity independence of spirit and meekness the idea of meekness is praised in the baha'i writings i wish there were more of it in this world today and, and then Allah says let them be cheered by droughts from the eternal cup of love for God and make merry as they drink from the wine vaults of heaven. Then he says, let them behold the blessed beauty. And this flower reminds me of the blessed beauty, Baha'u'llah. Let them behold the blessed beauty and feel the flame and rapture of that meeting and be struck dumb with awe and wonder awe and wonder as i am feeling it right now as i'm looking at these beautiful dragon fruit flowers which are going to be here no more in just a few hours and then he says this is the station of the sincere this is the way of the loyal this is the brightness that shineth on the faces of those nigh unto god this is from selection from the writings of abdul Baha, page 320. so yes my friend this is my find this morning this beauty this all took me out of my sadness yeah. for my little beautiful chicken that was devoured last night by a hungry other being <laughs> who did not know of anything but the material needs that's what the animals are animals think about what they want to do but they don't have the capacity to think about what they think and like us be able to reflect or have a sense of awe and wonder and uh, change their mind and decide not to be sad choose not to be mad choose to be uh, meek and to wonder about the grandeur the beauty the wonder of the world of creation in awe hope you have an awesome awesome day my friends